When you're dating 15 people at once, it can cause quite a mess. And in this season of Love is Blind, it starts out with Trevor. He's dating Chelsea, but she's also dating Jimmy, who's also dating Jessica. We're all dating each other. I'm dating yeah. you just as much as I'm dating you. Pretty much. That's literally exactly what it is. <laughs> that, that would be a twist. Jimmy and Trevor go off together. But let's see where it started. Hi, what's your name? My name is Chelsea. My dog's name is Chelsea. No way. My name is Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. My dog's name's Trevor too. Stop. They're lying. Five things that make you smile. Five? Dogs make me smile. Great answer. Five's dogs a lot. Dogs make me smile. I can think of five things that make me smile. All right, go. Dogs, cats, <laughs> elephants. You just because name animals. <laughs> Foxes. All right, all right, I'm done. <laughs> this is a weird answer. We're gonna go with a good love movie. Okay, like what? But the notebook, dog. Obviously. Okay, Trevor. A fresh cut lawn. Mm, Trevor, me and you are on the same page right now, okay? The notebook, a dog, and a fresh cut lawn. So ready to be married. I'm so ready to find my person. I think you might have found your person. Hang on, let's throw Jimmy in the mix. I work remote. Well, I'm looking for someone who works remote so they can travel with me. I'm a flight attendant. I don't like his face. Oh, that's why you're not supposed to see him so you can't judge their faces. I wasn't sure about Chelsea either so and now it's Jessica's turn who do I got your wife no I'm just kidding oh or maybe oh my, uh, my name's Jessica I'm a Capricorn okay we're compatible we are compatible I actually don't know that but I'd like to say we are because I like your voice a lot. Oh, I Jim. love hearing that because I've never been complimented on my voice ever her voice is very nasally people say I sound like Fran Drescher when I laugh so right I her voice is so <laughs> nasally I blow my nose like a stressed out dad just do it Oh, mine's worse than that. Oh, yours, yours. Mine is way louder than that. You shocked me when I first heard it. Mine's like a horn. Because you don't care about who hears you or who's blow around. My nose. You have, no, you don't blow your nose. You sound the elephants. I have sinus issues, okay? I have a 10 year old daughter. You know, there's certain conversations we can't have without you knowing that first. Uh-oh, he's not saying anything. It's just a nod. It's a, another piece of, of who you are. I mean, we're a package deal. He's saying the right things, but you can see that he doesn't. He's like, Ugh, I don't know. But I got options. I also like have a really good connection with, with Chelsea. Hey Chelsea, you got any kids, girl? No? All right. I do have something to just kind of lay out there. Wow, he's getting secret after secret. I have three kids. I've been married before. I got married when I was very young. He's like, I must really attract him. Right? This is a pattern with you, Jimmy. Yep. I sure know how to pick them. Like, are you good? Cause I'm- I'm, I'm good. I I'm good. I'm good. It's a, it's a it's a good thing that you told me, and uh, I'm not judging you for that. At least y'all ain't got no kids. Uh, like I want to collect my thoughts, you know. Mhm. Mm that's okay. <laughs> You're not gonna like everyone, and that's okay. That's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to tell you right now. Maybe she doesn't like you, Jimmy. She wanted somebody to say that's fine. That's fun. You can teach me some things about marriage, honey. And we all have a past. One of them, I was divorced, and it was like what his reaction. I, 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 I don't even know. Did he react? poorly or just, uh, he just not supportive he just comes out very hesitant i'm not judging you for that but i have to think about it so no, you are judging I her don't for that i don't want to lead anybody in the wrong direction so what does that mean i feel like every time is fun time with us trevor do you care that she was divorced have you ever been like close to getting married oh yeah well i was married Oh. That's pretty close. So you would say that was close? <laughs> <laughs> I told you that, right? We did not talk about this. Oh my gosh, yeah. That doesn't like phase me whatsoever. That's good. At this age, it's very hard to find someone who hasn't either been married or like really close to being married. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. What about you, Jimmy? Do you agree? Are you really like ready for something that crazy serious? With you? Yes. Oh. You were the first person where I was like, you know what? That wouldn't be such a weird idea. <laughs> but now it's like that would might be a good idea. Business in the front, party in the back. It's all business right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of liking Trevor. Trevor seems like a good Describe guy. Describe your perfect day to me. I'm on vacation in somewhere tropical. Full 10 hours on the beach. Mm -hmm. We go straight to... Uh, Try a new restaurant. 10 hours? 10 hours beach. beach, then to a restaurant? That's a perfect day. Like, I love the vacation. I love the beach. But 10 hours, 10 hours then straight the to a restaurant with your cooler? Go back and, and smush. <laughs> oh, no. He's out just because he said that. Smush? Smush, yeah. What is that? Yeah. Ew. I'm here to 
find who I have the closest connection with. You shouldn't say I'm here to find the closest connection with. You're here to find the connection, you know? Right. It might be none. You don't just settle for, oh, it's the closest. Do you ever get told you look like a celebrity? Yeah. Oh, that's cheating. I have two all the time on the plane. I get one person. And it's just because I have dark hair and blue eyes. You're not supposed to say that. I don't see it, so don't get excited. <laughs> I don't even know if it's MGK's wife or her, his girlfriend. And this is the moment that changes <laughs> everything. You do not look like Megan Fox. She needs to stop immediately. Megan Fox? Please don't say that. <laughs> Why would she say that? You're setting yourself up, child. It's like me like, people always say I look like Beyonce. Like... <laughs> I am Beyonce. Right. Always. See, that's well, I don't know why she did that. Because that though. influences him. I know, but then when he sees her, she does not look like Megan Fox. She's cute or whatever, but like, no. I honestly think if you reveal your looks, you should be out. Yeah. Because that is not the point but of the show. what if you say that wrong? Like, you say you like Megan Fox when... That was, no, <laughs> that was obvious what she was no, doing. No, I there. realized that, but like, yeah. also, man, you're not, like, you right, set right. the bar way too high just now, ma'am. I know. Like, really? <laughs> Who do everybody say he look like? You want to take any guesses? Yeah, it's um Tom. The MySpace Tom? Tom Quinn and Tom... Succession Tom? Ma yes, Matthew McFadden. Uh, McFadden. Uh, uh, Tom... I was thinking Kermit the Frog. What was his last name? I forget. Tom from Succession and Kermit the Frog? He's giving Kermit to me. Like, she look, look more like <laughs> Megan Fox. Oh, I thought not you were going to say Miss Piggy. <laughs> you were trying to combine them. No, not at all. No, Miss Piggy's dialed up. Miss Piggy is dialed up, but she doesn't look like Miss Piggy. Even when I was little, I learned very quickly, if I present myself well, they'll never guess the chaos going on, like, inside of me and at home. I don't know about him. She felt, she seems like she's really sweet and an awesome mom. And she's... Gorgeous. So I'm like, girl, I don't know. I feel like you could do better. I'm happy coming in here, and then I'm like, when I when I'm leaving, I'm like, I know I could do a heel clap. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. Oblivion. Girl, I don't know. I don't know if it's your man. I, I mean, like, it might be your man, but, like, do we really want that to be your man? I mean, it might be Chelsea's man. But I could be very surprised. You might have, like, a mullet. Dude, I thought you couldn't see through a wall. I am a sucker for a mullet, and if you're joking with me, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, that's your man, girl. Are you joking? I Yeah, I have mullet. You're such a liar. I swear to God. No, he, he got the mullet. I'm so excited. You might as well just propose right now. I don't know if I like someone that likes a mullet because like, are you okay mentally? Right. <laughs> I don't know if I like someone who likes a mullet. Are you okay up there? <laughs> That's valid. Then why does he wear it? <laughs> because he's crazy and he attracts crazy people. <laughs> That's, that is weird though. And she's that's still you. she's still gonna go with the other guy. I hope not, cause that's her dude. Jimmy is my man. Like I would want to marry him. <laughs> Why she like Jimmy so much? But Jimmy's got it in his mind that the other girl looks like Megan Fox. The show's not about looks, but no, but if I've... he's going off looks. I mean, we should probably pick that one. Is that bad to say? You know how I always tell you that you are the only person body has a physical response to? And that's how I knew and I've come to the conclusion that like you are my person. She is just all in with Kermit. I want to be first round draft pick like you are for me. She laid all her cards out there confidently. I'm just impressed she knew what first round draft pick was. Stop. Most girls don't love that. I'm here to find a wife and um, you actually, <laughs> tonight was so fun. I'm gonna go to bed so happy. I don't know, I still feel like he might choose the other girl. He gonna regret it. Yeah. You know he gonna see her later and be like, oh, that's Megan Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely falling for your personality and who you are and you're really special. This is exactly what I came here for. Okay, I'm just not feeling it, but. Me either. Maybe they know something we don't. I mean, he doesn't have a mullet. You wanted really? a guy with a mullet. You are everything I've ever wanted in my entire life. He didn't even say nothing. Didn't even say anything crazy. So that means it's in your head. Because he that. didn't say much. You just made it into what you wanted. People do that. You come up with your own scenarios and paint your own pictures. They do that when they can see each other. But even more so with this. You know, this ends very seriously. Yes, in marriage. Mm -hmm. For you, I could eat definitely see it.
Chelsea, the number one draft pick out here. What are your fears with this? That you'll pick Jimmy? You mean if you're not like my typical type? Yeah. No, I'm not scared of that. Mm -hmm. Cause I love you. You go, Trevor. Yeah. I love you. I like him. And I don't know how I feel about Chelsea anymore. I think Chelsea makes bad decisions. I just feel like it. You were all I thought about the whole thing. That other dude ain't saying that. Oh no. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I opened the gift. My heart is and always will be yours. When I tap mine. Yeah. Yours is supposed to vibrate. Oh, I want that. That is cute. Give me that. I moved multiple times and I always kept that rock. I don't, I'm a big. He gave you a rock. That he's always <laughs> kept with him, okay? <laughs> don't talk trash about Trevor. I like Trevor. I like Trevor too, but. So she has to be picking him. She got him a bracelet, right? This gigantic box with the bow on it in here. I wrote that a couple years ago. To my future husband, I think about you often and wonder if you spend as much time as I do daydreaming about our future. Although it feels like I walked through hell wearing gasoline covered underwear <laughs> to get to you. She is a lover, like really just all in. And look, that letter she can only use once. It's on TV now. So like if it, he turns out not to be her husband, it's not like she can be like, oh, I meant to give it to the next guy. She is the definition of ride or die. Like if you don't go with her, I don't know if I can tell you exactly what you want to hear at this point. Like I don't feel like the luckiest man in the world that you... <laughs> Share that with me, because I, I actually do. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good reaction. It's been a long time since I've felt this way about someone, but I love you, Chelsea. Chelsea is winning. I just want to make sure that you are a thousand percent sure. I am a thousand percent sure I love you. Girl, go with Trevor, please. You told someone else that you loved them yesterday. I would have hoped that you had made your mind up. If that's how you felt. Because I got the clarity I needed after how? our date. Stop, you're lying. No, after after their date, he decided he loved somebody else. There is going to be something better for me, and it is not you. 100%. If I am really worked up about something, and I'm emotionally not on the top of my game, I need someone that can help me with that. What? But he also said he needs to lead 100% of the time. Yeah. He's a BSer. No, he's, he's a just, little boy. He's just thinking of Megan Fox. That's it. It changed everything. Wait till he see her. When you realize what you missed out on, you are going to choke. Oh yeah, he's gonna choke, girl. You are going to be in disbelief of what you missed out on. I think so. I can't wait for that episode. <laughs> really, Jimmy, God bless you. Mm. Well done. Mm. Yes, Jessica drops the mic. She wore her sexy woman dress and her sexy heels to tell him all. I love it. I will feel like the luckiest man in the world if Chelsea says yes to me. Who do you think she picking? Let's take bets. I think Jimmy. I oh, know, I think she's gonna pick Jimmy too, which I'm so annoyed about. Chelsea, I love you. Every bit of every conversation we've ever had, I love. I love that you've been willing to go at my pace. I always leave with a smile on my face and I'll leave more happy than when, when you found me. Man, he's still going. Right, like shut up. Chelsea, will you marry me? Say no. No, no, say no. I want to know if you'll meet me at the altar in your white dress. She's a mess. She is a mess. I think she still doesn't know who she's going to pick. I will a thousand percent marry you. Oh, thousand You're percent. messed up, buddy. He didn't say her middle name, did he? I love you so much. Great. Now you got to go dump Trevor, who I who was my fan favorite. I hate that when I can't see the person who I really liked seeing in the pods. They'll come to the parties. Maybe she's going to say yes to both of them. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'd love to see that play out. Look, that actually would be smart. She said yes to him, and then she's waiting to see if Trevor's gonna ask too, so she can say yes to him and then decide. You would fit into my life so perfectly and so well, and uh, I just- I'm an idiot. I can't give you all of me right now. Right now or never? She's leaving it open. That you're sure that'll make you happiest? Nope. Yeah, the honest answer is you're not sure. She's not sure that's why she's so like all over the place. Do you have a reason why? No, I don't. She don't even have a reason. I had a good speech too. I know you did. And I know that you would be such a good husband. You're a messed up girl. That's all right. Trevor gonna be great for somebody else. If I went first, would you have said yes to me? Honestly, I think it kind of seemed like it, right? You don't want that, Trevor. You want somebody who's sure about you. No, 
not Miss Wishy Washy, flight attendant, hairdresser, makeup artist. It's not a good answer for his sake. He's swinging for the fences. This is what I want. He wants that vacation. I like him though, because he's actually challenging her. You know what I mean? But not in a very respectful way. Yeah, yeah. He's not being bitter or no. ignorant. I'm just going to sit here for a while, but. You can go. Yeah, get your ass out of here. Bye, girl. Because I don't I don't know what else to say. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I just need you to know how hard it was for me. He said leave. We heard you, girl. Go out. Bye. Yes, bye, Felicia. Jeez. Damn. You know what? I don't like that hoe anyway. He's going to do better. No, I mean, he's not going to leave the pod, so eventually they'll have another season. Somebody's going to have to come in there. Exactly. I just hope they feed him. Megan Fox, my butt. She does look a little like <laughs> Megan Fox's butt. <laughs> I love that. I've never been more sure that just that Jessica. Oh! <laughs> wow. I mean, you got it right the first time. Exactly. Especially you keep talking about attractiveness, buddy. I feel like I'm going to throw up. You should do that. We've never seen that before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who are you trying to convince, buddy? Yeah, that was a nice kiss. So nice. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Okay. What is happening? Let's have the awkward sit. We really need the awkward sit. I hate the awkward sit. They do it every time. Because you know what? The awkward stand is worse than the awkward sit. I got in my head. About. He got his head about. Not that, but like other things. About Megan Fox, right? Yeah, he was about to say it. Do you feel okay? Go ahead, I'm nervous. Are you? Can we sit down? Can we do the awkward sit, please? I really thought a lot this morning about wanted. And like, yeah. I almost went home this morning. Not anything against you. How are you feeling now? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Is he happy? No. Nope. He had to say it three times to convince her. I don't want to hear that you were about to go home. That would have sucked. Girl, you wish you picked Trevor right now. It wouldn't have sucked. You would have been with Trevor. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that we're on the same page. You're not. Mm -mm. If you have to ask, you already know. Is that what you expected? No. She definitely lied to me on, on some uh, how she looks. See, he was so stuck on that. Chelsea told me she look like Megan Fox. Boom! I've been saying it the whole time. That was the moment. I'm very attracted to her. I, I can work with that. I can work with that. I freaking love you. I love you so much. All right. Girl, you done played yourself. Chelsea Blackwell, will you marry me? Yes, 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 yes. She definitely lied to me about how she looks. I don't care what you look like. I love you for who you are. What? How many times are you going to say it? Just remind me of... Um... But why would you say that to somebody? I don't care what you look like. Like, no, you don't say that. You say, you're beautiful. And now it's time to head to the real world to kick off the insecurity tour. I totally forgot what you... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. If he mentions one more time what she looks like. You're gorgeous. I'm so happy. <laughs> How many times does he have to say it? He's trying to convince himself. I actually didn't have a decision the day I told you I love you. If someone's like giving me a, a, an attitude and a tone, I don't really want to mm -hmm. sit here and ask questions about what you're like as a future wife and stuff. Okay. There's going to be some attitude and a tone like in a relationship. She also said that I ruined her experience. Why are we talking about this? You're on like your romantic vacation. No, if he's wondering what she looks like. And then she brought up looks as well, which was kind she of- She brought up what? Looks. You knew he was gonna bring that up. It's like she told me that I'll like be holding my breath when I see what she looks like. He is so stuck on this. I just thought that was a little weird to say, considering the principle of the- mm -hmm. He is full of it. Yeah. Full of it. You're gonna see her. Girl, you should have picked Trevor. He's a mess. He keeps bringing it up. She's a mess too though. So they're both gonna crash and burn. I had zero idea what she looked like at the review. Oh my God, he keeps talking about it. I think it's so hard for me to feel loved and like lovable. So for me to like feel this is so surreal. Oh, you're feeling in love with that conversation? I think it's just hard to believe that it happened. It didn't. And I just hope that it stays that way. You know it's not. What's the first thing you noticed about me? That you didn't look like Megan Fox? Mm -hmm. Do you still feel like the same way that you did in the pod stuff? Nope. Mm -mm. She's asking because she knows. I am really happy with you. 
I think you are absolutely gorgeous. Let's count how many times he says this. What's your type normally? Bro, I don't even bring that up. Features that I've told you that I like about you is typically what I go for. Do you have a type? Meathead with a mullet. Big and muscular. So you got a lot of buff exes. I think Trevor was pretty buff. Is there anything about me that you're like kind of apprehensive about? They talk about this too much. Anybody who's talking about this stuff too much means it's not like- Means it's not right. It's not relaxed. It's not comfortable. Do you feel 100%? I feel 100%. How many times you gonna ask him, girl? I mean, I don't believe him, but she just keeps saying it. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but I think he keeps reassuring her. Like if if you want any chance for this to work, you have to reassure her. As soon as he shows her a little doubt, she's gonna start getting even more neurotic. If you tell me you love me every day, I'm not going anywhere. I feel like Jessica would have been the type to always be like, yeah. Because she kept saying it already, but he didn't like that. You haven't said it. He said it like briefly. I love you. He says it all the time. I'm just impressed talking to you. Oh God, don't get weird. Don't get weird. He's drunk. He's drunk. Plays a lot, uh, it's a lot, as you know. So I think- um, They need to include her in the conversation and make it like less weird. Baby, he's drunk. He's unaware. She's already like so insecure. So like this is too much for her. Everything is perfect right now in my relationship. Yeah. Are you guys aligned on your goals and like your vision? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like if she heard what he was saying. Right. She should have been there. Yeah. I come hang. Come hang. He like being around girls though. He just enjoys it. Like, I don't he know. Just he just likes smiling all up in the girls' faces. But he bonded with Trevor. He loves Clay. Like, I, I don't know. Amy, Laura, you're both happy. Yeah, oh, I'm very happy. Very Maybe he's just making it a point to talk to all the girls. He's talking to everybody. He's talked to every single person. Maybe he's just having a good time. Yeah. I didn't see anything wrong with that. No, it's just her. It's all her. Okay. Like, I want to pay him out to be like, but maybe, he's, I don't know. He said nothing wrong. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. What's wrong? He's been drinking. I'm drunk, girl. Damn. Do you want something to be wrong? She's gonna manifest this though. She keeps telling him, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? I think you're lying to me. Oh my God, this girl. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Eventually, that's gonna be a problem. Spinning her around, looking at her body, it made me feel a I, very type of way. I never spin her around. Okay. Was there a spin around? You're uncomfortable. I'm sorry, you're uncomfortable. I, it was just very odd. There wasn't anything like flirty. If you were a part of that conversation, you would have known all that. It made me feel icky. Yeah, that's insecurity at the... I mean, I, listen, everybody got their insecurities. The fact that you weren't reading the room made me really, really sad. That's true. He wasn't looking back, checking in, looking at her expression. That's true. Because he doesn't understand how insecure she is. He's gonna understand now. Oh yeah. They right. bragged about you all night. He did. You were the only person who wasn't coming up to me and like being like lovey and like, why couldn't we do that? Like everyone else. You could have went up to him. I just felt really confident about where we were to the point where I didn't have to be by your side all night. But she could also went up to him right? Like maybe he didn't know. Or maybe he don't like her. <laughs> He's gonna start to not like her. I'm the luckiest person. I'm the happiest person here. He did keep saying it. He's like, I'm the best. <laughs> I wouldn't be having this conversation with you if I didn't give a crap. I know that. I know okay. you care. Problem is, is this conversation always gonna happen wherever you go? I told you that my feelings were hurt. What else, what else do you want me to say? Nothing. Like, let's get over this. You're treating me up here. I love you. I love you too. But. Are you sure? No, girl. Stop asking that. Have some confidence. Hmm, did they make up? Oh yeah, they was beefing, right? Jimmy, put your shirt on. Somebody said he looks like a thumb with hair. <laughs> He does. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, I don't I'm a little hard-headed, I know. You are hard-headed. A little hard-headed, you gotta work with me. Look. And you're a little insecure. Ooh, baby, you are on fire tonight. How many times is she gonna ask him? Do you still feel the same? Do you still feel the same? Because she knows that he doesn't. We out here living, Lavia and baby. I don't think he's stopped drinking since he got there. Oh, he's been drunk the whole time. He's sleeping and still like, <laughs> <laughs> Only way I'm gonna get through this. This is so annoying. I just want to be on vacation with like all my friends. Right? I was just and, like, thinking like that. Like a bunch of couples and just eat and just have fun, right? It's, it's nice that they get to spend time by themselves and then they also get some group time. Yeah, let's do that. And let's film it and let's put it on our channel. Who are we inviting? Darn, we got Maybe no you. Yeah, can you come? Still ain't no friends. Our friends are watching now. Oh, <laughs> all, I'm sorry. I was just, it was a joke. It, it was a joke. My least favorite part was eating 
the food on the beach today. Uh, the taquitos are really good. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to eat all the taquitos before anybody else saw them. <laughs> I was eating them so fast and so hard, I bit the sh out of my lips. He was really going in, like he just didn't want anybody else to have any. Like why? He goofy. Let's see if they can bring their drama back to the real world as they start to meet their family and friends. First up, the roommate. I got some champagne. All right, should we pop it or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. It's Jimmy's favorite thing. Are you moving in? <laughs> I live through Chelsea, so I'm married too, you guys. Her roommate might be a little too much. <laughs> I could not live here. Damn, she was just friendly. <laughs> Why she have to run like that? That's just like during the reveal. She's really got to work on our runs. You found your person. I did. You did, but you gave him away. He hasn't kissed me once today. Um, what? It might just be me. No. You know? Oh yeah, it's never you, Chelsea. You're never insecure. He saw a picture of the girl that he almost picked yeah. yesterday. Oh. I don't know if that's kind of messing with his mind a little bit. Does anyone need more wine? I know Jimmy does. So. <laughs> What was like the number one thing that made you fall in love with Chelsea? Did she look like Megan Fox? How much different am I than Chelsea's typical type? You look nothing like what a typical type. Nice. She described Her what type. she looked like. Who do I always see on the plane? Oh, uh, Carrie Underwood? <laughs> Carrie Underwood. <laughs> and? Carrie Underwood, I can Megan see. Fox. Megan Fox. Yes, I have dark hair and blue eyes. Oh, and big oh, boobs. Yeah. <laughs> We're still here? We Carrie, still haven't gotten over it? We still it? talk about Megan Fox? Is Chelsea not your type? I think Chelsea's perfect. Aw, thanks. I don't know, I'm still not buying it. Your friends and who you hang out with says a lot about you and mm -hmm. They're also sweet. That makes me happy because today I was worried about you, babe. And then you didn't really like acknowledge me being here at all, really. You know who would have acknowledged her? No, yeah. Hey, Trevor still will. He's waiting for her. Coming up to me and like grabbing my face and kissing me, telling me I'm pretty, or like. He's always saying that she's pretty. Yeah, but if he goes two hours without saying it, she's like, oh, what's wrong? He's went two hours. He didn't kiss me one time today. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm really sad. This right now. Now shut up. I did, I did kiss you today though. I kissed you when you were in the bathroom getting ready. Oh. oh. Now what, Megan Fox? Especially after our conversation about Jazz. I think just you seeing a picture of her. Maybe he's just like wondering what would life be like with Jazz. Of course he's wondering that. And my main concern is like, and when you do say I love you, you don't really like say it. You say. Oh my God, she's too much. I can't. I can't. So, so you say I love you, but I don't like the way you say it. Oh, and. You didn't kiss me today. Okay, you kissed me twice, but all right, I'll kiss you more. It's not the point with a kiss. I just want you to want me. I do want you. <laughs> Chelsea, you're exhausting. I know you tell me you love me, but can you change the way you say it? Like maybe change your tone up a bit when you say it? And I'm just kind of not really getting a glimpse of like you. Just today. Or was it yesterday too? It was yesterday. Really? Jesse, you're causing problems. I ask you to marry me because I am 100% invested. Do you believe him? He wants it to work out. He wants to get there. I don't know if he's there though. Dude, I do love you. I want to feel it and I don't really feel it right now. Today and yesterday, I didn't, I didn't really feel any love from you. Even though I kissed you or you told me that you love me. I love you and I, I really want to make things work. But honestly, I bit the living shit out of my lip. and it Trying to eat those taquitos. <laughs> My lip hurts because I was trying to eat the ketos on the beach before anybody else got them. I care about you, but truthfully, you've been a little clingy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Clingy? Yes! Well, you're saying you want me to give you more love and affection, and I feel like you're giving me too much. Are you f kidding me? No! That was rude. Mm, or accurate. I have told you I love you more than any of the guys have told their fiancés. That's it. About them. You compared it before. Why couldn't we do that like everyone else was? Oh, you fired up! <laughs> I don't even like Jimmy, but she's like, like nobody will be able to please her because, well, maybe Trevor. I take it back. Trevor would give her all the love. I do not ever want to be with someone who says I'm too clean. I love you and I want to be with you and I want a life with you. You didn't kiss me once today. Twice. As soon as I get out of work, I come down here and meet your friends. And the first thing out of your mouth is that I'm clean. Wasn't the first thing. I wish Megan it was. Fox, you a liar! I wish it was the first thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was about the 2000th thing. Started causing these problems the second you saw Jess's picture. That's your own insecurity. It's not about Jess at all. <laughs> Maybe it should be. Hey, this is a huge, huge deal for me. It's a huge deal for me too. Because I'm clingy. I cooked I'm, you dinner. I'm I stayed thankful by you myself. Me then thankful. I sat and watched your show with you and then went upstairs and had sex with you? Nobody tell you to do that. Oh, well, what show was it? <laughs> That's important. Yeah, you're the one that wanted to have sex. Yeah, I also did. Also, maybe wanted a little breather from that too. Ah! 
<laughs> you wanted a breather from the cooch. The cooch is also clingy. I'm like, I'm so disrespectful. I'm like, I'm so f***ing tired of this. Could have used a little break from that as well. Damn, Jimmy. I like to go to my apartment. Space. Yeah, I don't think you have to go. I think she went. Yeah, I think she left. Leaving like that was not cool. You said you were gonna leave. To be fair, you told me that you were leaving. The only reason I wanted to leave is because you... This girl, she got just a, an excuse about everything. Like, I don't even know where this conversation stemmed from. Is it because I told you, like, you didn't kiss me once yesterday? Which apparently was a lie. If I thought that you were clingy to the point where there was no return. You think he would feel smothered by Jess? Well, Jess also wouldn't be this insecure. She wouldn't be asking all the time, like, is everything okay? Is everything okay? I love you, and I want nothing more than a future with you. You break up with her already. I'm annoyed with you. These two. Y'all supposed to be with Jess and Trevor. Yeah, where is Trevor? Where's Trevor? And how long have you been friends with them again? Two years. Oh. Two years isn't that long. These are your friends? Friends for two years? That's not a long time. Hi, I'm Barbara. How does he know them? It's only been two years. It's not like they've been childhood friends. Yeah, this is questionable. <laughs> Can you imagine me bringing two dudes over like, yeah, we've been friends for two years. These are my best friends. Yeah. You've lived with a girl before. Have you ever lived with a guy before? I used to be married. But did you live with them? He said I was clean. What do The yes, person who literally can't you... breathe without somebody pushing oh, air you through your lungs? <laughs> I've dated people who have really good girlfriends and they've all cheated on me with the good girlfriends. How many? people all oh. he's like our brothers but possibly we're we might go to his wedding mm -hmm. hopefully he kissed you are you gonna remember that he didn't kiss me once today i feel like she could be our i feel like she could friend. be our really good friend oh wait till you meet jessica hey girl yes ma'am yes missy miss miss oh my god oh my god he did so good isn't that pretty are you obsessed yeah i'm obsessed honey are you obsessed yes yeah, so obsessed <laughs> that like I I fell in love with someone yeah he ended up falling in love with someone else and she was like he fell in love with someone else and it wasn't you is he well he's not well whenever you guys got back the day after he sends me a friend request oh, oh. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for he didn't tell Chelsea that so I'm like ooh, he must be thinking about me you're not repulsed by him no. Oh, you don't think he looks like Kermit or a thumb with hair or Tom? I don't even know if the opportunity will ever present itself. Oh, it will. I'd be lying if I say I didn't still get butterflies. Girl, go get your man. Why are we playing around? He's available, right? Chelsea is stunning. She's perfect in literally every way. She's not. If I were to see Jimmy again, it's going to be like dangling temptation, like right in front of his face. It's the truth and you know it is. Oh, I know it is. Do you think that he would want to see me? Yep. Yeah. Oh. When when are they gonna see each other? I really want it to happen like right now. I think next episode. I want her to steal her man back. If she really like him, I mean, he's all right, I guess. We're grabbing some barbecue and introduce Chelsea to my family. Hi, guys. I don't introduce my parents just to anybody. I only do it on TV shows. I want my parents to know that I'm truly in love with Chelsea. Okay, we're still pushing that narrative. Yeah, so. we're gonna go with it. So what did you first see about him that you really liked? He was so open and emotional with me. Don't tell my dad that. <laughs> What's wrong with your dad? How do you think he won over your mom? I'm ready for a relationship. Oh, they look alike. <laughs> He kind of looks like them. Look like family. <laughs> That's gonna be the twist. It's his cousin. They're related. I will say marriage is really hard. So what makes you think you're ready for that? Well, I did it before, so I learned a lot. We've had a couple fights, but it hasn't been any deal breakers. I don't even think they've been fights. They've just been, you know, conversations. Oh, they've been fights. Well, she was fighting. I don't know if he was. You date someone long enough, naturally conflict comes. It either makes you or it breaks you. What you got to say, Papa? You too busy eating. Dad don't got nothing to say. He enjoying the barbecue. Cute. I can tell her I love her and she tells me that back and I can tell she means it. All he wants is somebody to tell him that they love him. Could be anybody. So this is gonna be your wife. Well, she's really, uh, she's got a very good- A locker. A locker. You know, she looks like somebody. <laughs> this girl I saw on TV, I don't know. She was da dating that rocker fella. <laughs> what was her name? I I'm not sure. If this is what Jimmy wants is to get married and start a life with Chelsea, I would be happy for him. It's not what he wants. And he's not gonna get married to Chelsea. Mark my words. So, so cranky with you. This morning. I was like, 
Man, I'm so mad at him. But Why is she mad at him now? The camera crew leaves and you shower and get ready to go. I asked you to go out and I know that- You did not ask me. I did ask you, I was like, you can go with me. You can go with me is not asking. <laughs> That's not a question. I went and had one drink. The girls in the pod said, hey, you made this out, where are you? Who's they? Mackenzie. I don't even know what Mackenzie looks like. She knows what you look like. Who is Mackenzie? She's nobody. Mackenzie's a nobody. I don't want to be with someone who wants to go out and party. He went out for an hour. Like, what are we talking about, Chelsea? Maybe like, I drove there, I had one drink, and I came home. But is that something I'm gonna deal with? Someone go having one drink and coming home? If it's not a regular thing. You sat there and lied to me. I and didn't I lie to you. I said I love going to wine bars, I like going to cocktail like bars, me. and I like getting home at a decent time. Then I hear, your man is out. Like, where are you? Oh my God, this girl get on my damn nerves. Why can't she go out with him occasionally? Right. If he wants to go out on a Saturday, you go too. He wants to have a drink. Damn, he ain't 67. I'm really trying to like dive into this man and you don't give two sh Oh my God, Chelsea be wild. No, but she's probably right. He probably, well, he probably doesn't give two sh He sure sounded like he does give two sh but he might be wrong. Where's Jessica? Is that the kind of person you are? Cause it's not the person I want to be with. It's not. All right, then bye. Where's Jessica? I love you and I, I want to be around you, but like you're not giving me Mud. Girl, you draining me. I have been away from you for like a total of like three and a half hours. He's been away for three and a half hours total since they've been together. Who were you with last night? Who were you with last night? Oh God, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about this. Wait, who was he with last night? Was He was with his girlfriends? He has those two like girlfriends, right? No, there's somebody else. Who do you text all day? Oh my goodness. If you're fishing for me to tell you that I text my girlfriends all the time. I see. If you want to sign up with me, you have to sign up for all my friends too. Oh, is that all it was? Just his friends? But she knows that he has those two best friends that are girls. It's weird, but she signed up for that. Tell me right now. Do you want me to take a step back? Of course I do, and okay. I told you I'm that. not willing to take a step back. <laughs> you told that, huh? So why'd you tell her to tell you? I don't know, I'm not feeling her. I feel like of course he's, not. he's trying and putting a lot of effort in, and she just is nitpicking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's very, very insecure, and now that's becoming his problem. Perhaps she's clingy? Perhaps she's clingy, or perhaps she's very insecure about the fact that he may really be in love with Jessica. And that's what I'm hoping. Who he's never met, I don't think. Well, uh, where, where's Jessica? It's coming. Where my girl Jess at? Gotta meet eventually. Here we go. Where are we going now? I don't have a physical relationship with them. I want you to trust me. Yeah, you do though. You told me you f***ed her. Oh, wait. Wait, who f to? You told me that. Who? I told you off camera that like, I know, but then I don't want to talk about that. Who f to? All right. What? And I love her. It was a one-time thing. But okay. you're not single anymore. Okay, this is next level. Who were you with last night? Who were you with? I know it was Jacob Jess. Lee. I was not with Jess. I've never saw Jess. I heard it was Jess. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing. I was not with Jess. Hey, were you with Jess? Were you with Jess? And who did he F? I think you're fishing. You think I'm fishing? Yeah. When I'm getting told that you're out at a bar when I I'm the best. But why'd you mention Jess? Right. We have already talked about this last night and you never mentioned the Jess thing until tonight. I didn't say anything. It, was like, it made me really sad. <laughs> Why are you gonna laugh? Why are you laughing? Cause she always goes. Really sad. She always gets that whiny voice. It made me really sad. What did you do last night when you left? What did you say to me? I'm going out. I'm going out. That's not the kind of person I want to be with. All right, then leave, huh? The only night that I went out that you also didn't go be with your friend was last night. And I was going an hour and a half tote just to make an appearance for a friend's birthday. That's not very much. He's got a what point. I'm if he's only gone for an hour and yeah. a half, what could he have possibly done? You're sitting here drunk telling me you don't want to be with me anymore. So I don't like Chelsea, you're drunk. I can see that. I'm willing to work through it. But if you're going to sit here and tell me that this is changing how you feel, it changes how I feel too. Yeah, sober up, sis. What you, what you doing? You just think I'm like foolish. But every time I tell you how I feel, I do. I do. I, if you I, think I'm foolish with everything I've told you, I don't care to be with you either. Oh, good. Let's get there. It's time for it to end. Break up. You know what? I don't want to be with either one of you. Damn right. That's on period. I want to be with you though. I want to be with you too. We have two weeks to figure out if we're getting married. Oh no, we already figured it out. We're done. You don't think I love you? I don't know. That's honest. I don't know. Seems a lot of, like some self sabotage there on Chelsea's part. Oh, you're still here? I mean, this morning, my perspective on getting married, I, I, you know, decided I didn't want to. Good decision. This is just hard to hear. 
I apologize and I can't apologize anymore. I forgive you for that. For you to just throw in the towel if having a bad night is just because we had a hiccup. I mean, it's been several. When things get tough, like I need to know that you're not just gonna walk away from me. This is probably the fourth time we've seen her push him away pretty hard on camera. Last week I went home during the middle of an argument and I told myself I wasn't gonna do that again. I mean, why are they talking? Didn't he just break up with her? I fell more in love with you yesterday than I ever have. Well, good thing you caused all those problems. What else can I do to make you feel like well, this could be a yes? I need you never to cross the line on the things you crossed the line on the other night, ever. Wait, there's still hope? I never, ever, ever, ever want to argue like that ever again. But you will, tonight. but you will. <laughs> so where's your head at right now? He just told you, you're over. I love you and and I love you too. I really want to try with you. So we are trying? I thought we broke up. Damn. It's so confusing. So you can't come dressing like that when I'm mad at you. You look good. Dressing like what? I really like those pants. You wore you a shirt. pants and a shirt on? look good. You got pajamas. The hell are you talking about? Chelsea's got the bar low. Every conflict Chelsea and I have had, we've been able to get through it. And you've had a lot of them. I almost took this off and left it here for you to see. That would have been sad. Yeah, he doesn't trust this. and I don't either, quite frankly. I hardly slept last night. Why? Because you're in the friggin' club? Probably. Really? You gonna start it again? Let's interrupt this before Chelsea sabotages the relationship again and reunite them with some old friends. Damn, Bobby! What? That's Trevor. Oh my god. He's baby. Wait, where's his mullet? He cut his mullet! Trevor is normally what I go for. Beefy, muscular. He's a lover. But why did he cut the mullet? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. I was waiting! So excited! Jimmy. Oh, not a church hug. <laughs> the church hug. Mm, she came to slay today. Uh, Got the heels, the cakes out. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Good, how are you? I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you, Chelsea. I figured. <laughs> this is what I have been waiting for. No, where did he, where did he go? <laughs> there is so much happening right now. Like, my heart is like, what? Why do I feel like this is like middle school at a dance? Should it's because it is. Yeah, that's what I was oh, gonna say. Like, weird. get the okay. hell out of here. <laughs> Bye, girl. Hey, ladies. I still love Trevor, even though he's getting a lot of heat on the internet. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a Trevor fan. I don't want to intrude. Intrude, please. <gasps> Did she meet your family? She did. They adored her, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, that was the thing that you were like most afraid of. Yeah, but it's like, how is that easy? And then we had our biggest fight. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell her about that? Mm -hmm. It's been a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Roller coaster, hey? Don't look at this as advice coming from like an ex. Look at it as advice coming from like one of her good friends. Are you an ex? Girl, you do not deserve to be called an ex. You read my letter out loud and then you were dead silent. That was pretty rude. And when you were silent, that was so loud. Oh, that's true. I cried more that night than I've probably cried my whole life. I'm sorry I put you in that position. I don't think you had any bad intentions. I think that was the best you could do at the time. Wow, she's like reacting to him the way he wants Chelsea to react to him. You never really did just flat out say how you felt about me. And don't try it now, boy. It's too late. She's trying. I like, think you're not... the smartest person I've ever met. I think you're like, oh. after you told me I'll be holding my breath when I see you. I said, you better have that EpiPen on you because your airways are going to close. He still can't breathe. I was the one who was about to fall out and need a medic. When you went in for a hug, I was like, no. If you give someone a portion of what you gave to me, someone's gonna be the luckiest man in the world. I care about you a lot. And in reality, you were my number one still. How's she the number one? What does that mean? Like, it still stings a little, but I'm happy for you guys. I really am. Mm, he rethinking his whole life. If he only followed through with his breakup yesterday, he'd be he a free been agent. Yeah. Sorry about the mullet. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I was disappointed too. Me too. I think I asked this question in there, but I'm gonna ask it again. Okay. If orders were switched and I went first, yeah, would there be a different outcome? There wouldn't have been. Just
just because Jimmy and I had a conversation. Have to say that to be a good person. She yeah. would have said yes to him. I almost guarantee it. I feel like it would be really fun and easy with you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like an arguer. No. Even if I did something terrible, I don't see you mm -hmm. like yelling at me. Mm. Oh, you haven't seen Trevor. You don't have to do something terrible. She'll still yell at you. I'm glad you kept the bracelet. Yeah. I have mine still. He's wearing it. Wow, that's saying something. Listen, <laughs> Jimmy, I'm thinking of your fiance. <laughs> wow, that was ballsy to wear that. He's wearing the butt bracelet? Yeah. Oh, it's the like, romance for me. Yeah, and I'm talking to his wife about our relationship together. <laughs> that's not Trevor. awkward at all. Have you met our strongest couple right now? You can't say they're the strongest Maybe. couple. <laughs> they are, unfortunately. I think that makes me we're don't think we were. I mean, I think we're right behind them. <laughs> We're a solid number two or three. How is he actually mad behind that? Is he serious? If you're joking, then that's... that's I think Jimmy's been drinking a little. Oh, I forgot drunk Jimmy. Now that they've overcome the hurdle of their exes, they go off on a date to rekindle their love. Do you guys want an ice sculpture? We're going to do an ice sculpture for the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you guys' thoughts on what you exactly want? I'm going to transform her. That seems like work. Wait, we're calling him Jim now? I thought it was Jimmy. He doesn't look like a Jim. No. He's a total Jimmy. I love you so much. <laughs> I can tell that you really want to be with me and that's like the best feeling ever. You feeling know? well now, but that means tonight's going to be a disaster. We're going flat tonight. But before the main event, let's go through the motions of a wedding. Not only my little sister, my best friend, she's always filling other people's cup. Well, of course she's filling other people's cup. She's a flight attendant. That's her whole job. <laughs> what are you talking about? I met Chelsea because I trusted the process. Sounds to me like we should get you to the uh, altar tomorrow. Yeah, he's all ready to say no. You still think he's gonna say no? He's saying no. Yeah, I don't really feel like he's a yes either, but we've been wrong before. I'm gonna have to take this new suit to the drag cleaner because I'm sweating profusely already. <laughs> Ew, Jimmy. Jimmy's a sweater, I mean Jim. Jim's a sweater. Oh, it was Jim. Oh no, don't run, don't run. It is pretty. I think that's a really pretty and flattering dress for her. I think that works, yeah. yeah. One and done. Let's just end it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you like it? Oh my gosh, Chelsea, I love it. All I do is cry. That's true. Don't be talking trash. I saw you about to cry too. <laughs> <laughs> mama, he bring out the mama. I feel so confident in Jimmy and I. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> mm, it's gonna be ugly. We'll see. Now that they're all ready for the wedding, they go on one last date. That don't look like anywhere I ever want to be. Empty, they got the whole park to themselves. Right? The park opened just for them. No, thank you. Why not? You wouldn't do that? No. I, look at that. Look at that drop. You would do it. I know you would. Hell no. I, you Hell would. no. I wouldn't do that. You would. I would not do that. They don't look very secure. Look at though. that. I would not do that. Hey. Yeah, I won that. Thank you so much. I mean, one of you were going to get it. I loved you so much. And... I have no doubt in my mind that you're my person. Are we going to get married? Because I haven't even got a grasp of where you're at. It's such a great day. Seems like they're going to ruin it. Jerama. Where are you at with being able to give an answer? I thought she was so sure before. We haven't talked about it. So we I haven't. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Say something, girl. It's literally been a roller coaster. Of uh, she's in an amusement park. Literal. They really, truly seeing if I can see this moving forward in a marriage. Right now, I can. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going the other way. Yesterday I was a little, I think I was just having an off day. Today I feel more secure and confident in moving forward with you. And I feel really, really good. Oh, I thought she was going the opposite. She surprised me. I wasn't surprised. I love you to death and I, I want a relationship with you and I want mm -hmm. us to work so bad. Mm -hmm. But what? I don't want to go to the altar. Oh, so he's the one. He was hoping she would say it, so he didn't have to. Okay. Jimmy too worried about looking good on camera. I can tell that about him. He probably fake as hell. Cause on camera, he be, he's been trying to do everything right. You've said it like literally three times since then about Amy and Johnny said being it strong. Twice and I, like you're set on not going, right? Am I getting that? You're set on not going. I'm set on not going. Why did you propose to me? I feel like you weren't even trying to get married. You don't think I was trying to get married? Wait, I'm sorry. We were just picking our song. For walking into the fucking reception. Are you kidding me? He doesn't want to go to the altar because he said that Amy and Johnny is the best couple. I think that's 
one of many things, though. Come on. No, I'm sorry. She said Amy and Johnny were the strongest company yeah, couple. Yeah, right, right. Like, I love you. I love you, too. When you know, I do you love know. you. But you're saying, like, I love you, but not enough. I mean, it's only been a month. I'm That's saying. What it sounds like. I'm not saying that. It's it sounds like a normal relationship where you have to work through it. Don't get married in a month. If I put myself out there, I would find my person. That led me to you. That's the greatest thing I've ever done. And before that damn argument, I was so sad. Oh, gosh. Okay, before you lied to me, before you did call me clingy, I can't tell you things that hurt my feelings because you get so upset. Like what? Yeah, like what? Like you're so set on not going because of our one argument. I'm just like, that is blowing my mind. Like five or six really big issues that like really hit home and hurt my feelings. Really hurt my feelings. It was more than one argument. I told you out of confidence about one of my friends that I had a prior relationship with. You threw that in my fucking face. You disrespected her, you disrespected me. It made me uncomfortable because you guys text and you call all day. Valid. Someone that you slept with that made me uncomfortable. Valid. I get that you told me confidence to protect your reputation, but it, it made me feel a certain type of way, so that's unfair. I agree with her, actually. But she didn't have to bring it up on camera if they had an agreement. She could have brought it up to him. Oh, yeah, definitely. She waited for but, the camera. But I'm glad she brought it up on camera. Well, yeah, it's for not us, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm really sorry that I brought it up on cameras when you asked me not to, to protect your reputation, but it was my feeling. Was it to protect his reputation or protect the girl's reputation? I feel like it was more protecting her. It isn't my reputation. I don't care about it. It's hers that I care about. Because the girl didn't sign up to be on the show. So what else do I do that you can't see yourself marrying me for? That night was such a big step back that I cannot fathom marrying you after that. Because she exposed you? He's texting her all day. No, but he's right in the fact that they have issues. So you have so many yes, issues that, to work out. Yes. Why would you get married now? Maybe in the future if you can work those out. But they don't have time to work that out. Or to say that you didn't want to have sex with me anymore. When did I say that? He did say that. Roll the tape. You're the one that wanted to have sex. Yeah, I also, did. Also, maybe you wanted a little breather from that too. When did I say that? You said it. The night you called me clingy. You got drunk and said that I do not want to be here. Jimmy fake. Marriage is not easy. Ooh. You broke my trust to you the deepest broke degree. My trust. I didn't so tell bad. the world your deepest, darkest secrets. Oh, you might as well now. Say it. Your deepest, darkest secrets is fing your friend. Continue to remind me why I'm making the right decision. It's already out there. And if he's texting her all day and all that, like, she needs to rethink her decisions. I was so hopeful for us. I know I would be uncomfortable with that if you had a female friend who, like, I knew that you slept with and y'all were like best of friends and hanging out and texting all the time. The thing is, that's an issue they need to work out before they get married. They don't have time to do that. No, time's up. But she's going to take it as we're just done. I think he wants it to be done too. I don't think that he's as into it and committed to the situation as he claims. That's probably true, but he didn't say that.